I want my 10 minute button back. Do you know how many times I've tried to record this and I just keep going over? Just like, God damn it. TikTok brought me so close to the sun and then slammed me back down to the ground. God damn it, TikTok. Anyways, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Sarah Marchucci. I'm psychic medium, certified crystal healer, paranormal investigator, and a bitter bitch about being given the 10 minute button and then I get it taken away. I had to reboot my phone, so I don't know what the fuck. Anyways, the point is, this is where I pull a fucking card. <laughs> I'm just irritated, all right? I'll, be, I'll, get, I'll get the fuck over it. It's where I pull a card for the collective. If you guys are into that, uh, please follow along. Whenever it finds you is the perfect fucking timing. Please trust in that. Know that spirit's bringing you a message that maybe you need to hear, or maybe the song resonates for you, uh, or maybe we just need to hear the new song, or maybe the song talks about a situation that we're going through. So watch everything that I'm doing. Listen to what I'm saying. Hopefully this helps and guides you throughout your week. All right, with that being said, if you know the song, sing along. Well, spirit gonna say today, who motherfucking knows? Can you please be fucking nice? Because that'd be really, really fucking great. What you gonna say today? Okay, 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 okay. All right, you guys, listen, we got kind of a difficult card, but it's not so bad as it sounds. We got the Eight of Cups. Let's fucking talk on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, we're gonna have to do difficult things this week. All right, listen. <laughs> when the Eight of Cups shows up, guys, this is Cups. This is our emotions. This is the way that we feel. This is our intuition. Something here, this is the card of abandonment, moving on, letting go, walking the way of walking the fuck away from something. But here's the thing. A lot of people forget uh, with the eight of cups is we're walking towards our joy, but we got to leave something behind that. We've invested a lot of time, effort, love, and farts into. <laughs> okay. It's hard to let this thing fucking go. Uh, now, if we were looking for a yes or no this week, I would say that this would be a yes around moving towards what it is that you do want and letting go of something that's been holding you back or not working the fuck out. Uh, if we're looking around love and relationships this week, you or the other person might be going. Okay. Somebody here might be leaving. We might be separating. There might be a period here where we are moving away from each other. We might even be physically moving to different states. Something's going on with this. Uh, also, too, the Eight of Cups can talk about, like, there's a possibility here for some of you guys moving on to a better stage within our relationship. We're finally on board uh, moving towards our happiness, our joy, and our wish fulfillment. All right? I know that can be kind of confusing, but that works for the two groups here this week. Around work and career, I feel like we're going to have to leave something behind. It's not to say that we can't circle back around to this thing and pick it up later but maybe we have too much going on right now what can we let go of right now and focus on that really is our true wish fulfillment here how do we focus on that let go of some of these other side projects so we can focus on what's most important around our health we got to deal with our grief and we got to deal with our sadness face your fucking feelings this week and trust your intuitive instincts for anything else go towards your joy do not look back